Hi everybody, this is Holly Demig. I'm the Closet Stamper. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, so today I'm going to teach you about masking off some of your stamps so that you can have um, a different stamp. So specifically sentiments. I've never actually done it with a picture. But um, so I have been stamping for a long time. I am a seasoned stamper but I learned something new from my friend Janice the other day. Um, what we're going to do is mask off part of the stamp. So for instance, I have a lot of happy birthday stamps, but they're retired. Um, so this is a new one, but it says happy birthday from all of us. Well, I don't need to always use the from all of us. We're going to mask it off. Let me open up my ink pads here. So the thing I want to show you actually, what Janice told me, was in the past I used sticky notes. You can use sticky notes, they work just fine. You know, they have larger sticky notes, but, you know, and I always have sticky notes around, but you can also use painter's tape. Painter's tape, you get a lot more of it for the money, you're not using up your sticky notes, and it actually sticks to the acrylic block, which comes in handy for the more intricate stamps. So here I go. Look, it even sticks in place. And you can use any size you have. Now I do not recommend masking tape. I tried it so that I could tell you what I thought of it and it's too sticky. But painter's tape works wonderfully. So and if you've never seen this before then you can learn something new. So again it said happy birthday from all of us. If I cover it up with the masking tape, make sure you remember to peel it off. Excuse my reach, I have a um, trash can over there. And then you have like a new sentiment. You have just happy birthday. Isn't that awesome? Here's another one I did. Oops, I don't have the label on there. That was those real clingy stamps. This stamp, look, I have crafting forever, housework whenever but I don't need to use the whole thing. What I did was I masked off the bottom portion and I left crafting forever with the little curly cues. Give it a try, you ink up, pull off your masking tape or your painter's tape. There we go. I hope you can see that from the distance of the camera. Excellent. All right, now then, I was looking at all, this made me look at all my stamps anew in a different way. Look at this, we have, we are cut out to be friends. Well, I have often wanted a stamp that just said friend. So, this one takes a little more care, but it's very doable. Now I might get my head in the shot trying to, um, trying to cover this up, but so you can go at it at an angle, and again, the painter's tape sticks to the block too. So it really makes it easier than a sticky note. I might have to do this a few times. It always works easily when you're practicing. A little more difficult when you're doing it for the camera. So see, I covered up some of the F, the friends. But there's an eye there that you have to be real careful to not cover up the little dot on the eye. There, I'll use my little piece. And so remember, it said friends, plural. Well, I don't want that S either. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to mask off the S. Look at that. I think it's good. So what you want to do is you want to look at it carefully and look at your work and see if you um, left exposed what needs to be exposed. And then after you ink it, you can look at it too, because you can see it a lot more clearly. So carefully take this without getting that extra ink all over the place. And that should just stamp friend. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So like, I don't need to buy another set just for the word friend, because I had it all along. And I could just mask it off. Now, one more I'm going to do. Here's one. It says, let's see, it, it is from the Strong and Beautiful stamp set that came out um, from in, near Mother's Day. Uh, anyway, which one I have? This one. 
I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. Well, for the front of the card I made, I just wanted the top portion. I just wanted, I cherish you, my true friend. And you know, so I masked off the bottom portion. And you know, you could always put the bottom portion on the inside. So, uh, well, I was going to reach for the card, but let me stamp first. So again, I masked it off, as you've seen before. This ink pad really has a lot of ink on it. I'm going to turn this over. That had a little spot. All right, so boom. Now there is a little little tiny stray spot. I didn't cover it up well enough for the camera. I had done it before and it came out perfectly. So what I did was I used it for this, as you can see. But, oh, I almost got ink on that. But which, if you do it carefully in real life, see when I mask that off, it fit nicely into my label punch. So it was a nice sentiment for the outside of my card. And like I said before, I had done one earlier. So there you have it. Masking, and the key thing is painter's tape. Painter's tape works like a champ. It's, so if you don't have any sticky notes around, use your painter's tape. Thank you for watching. Look for my videos on YouTube soon.